All right, ladies and gentlemen, so today we're going to be doing a video on who should you use the power special move source on. I'll be doing one for when we get closer to when we unlock the speed special move source, which we should be getting in like eight or nine days. You got to make sure you log in every single day. But the power one is where you grind five million points on the point event. And then it'll give you it a guaranteed. Uh, you have about a week to do it, so make sure you grind it. It's definitely, definitely worth. I recommend going to 9 million at least because of the guaranteed 5-star ticket every single point event, but, you know, some people don't. But I highly recommend farming this because it's a duplicate for any power character you have. Uh, so, yeah, uh, let me just... Sh I'm just going to do quote one quick run just to show you. Maybe you're newer to the game, maybe you don't know how. Uh, I should put a timestamp below to where I talk about who you should give it to. But yeah, let's just quickly go through this. You basically just go through, you try to have as many bonus characters as you have, and just try to absolutely cook and destroy these guys. I will say, I kind of wish uh, the map stayed true to the story. Like, the story was so cool. I like the story maps that we have. But unfortunately, they uh, kind of got rid of it, which is kind of unfortunate. I wish it would stay. But we got Maisie in the background, so we get more recharge per stage cleared. You can put Tendro as well uh, to get a bit more movement speed, but it's not like needed or anything. I'm frozen. That's that's that's. <laughs> Maybe bring a character who can't get frozen. <laughs> that's so funny. Uh, but yeah, there we go. Go right through this. Into the SA2. Through the SA3. Boom. Dang, that range is kind of crazy. And then we're already here. I it, it it's super easy. Nothing super hard to do. The final stage is kind of hard. I recommend just farming the stage, special stage 4 when it comes out. Uh, don't use orbs now. Just wait. Uh, you don't get as, as many points. But as you can see, we get the special move source. Uh, and then we will be getting a speed one, as I said earlier, uh, in a few days' time. But yeah, this... I already have a tier list. I have an entire tier list. Uh, and in my opinion... I think there's only two characters that you should even like think about using it on and in my opinion that's Ichigo, Mugetsu, and Power Okiyora. Outside of that I don't think there's a character realistically that is worth using it on. Like 8th Anniversary Ichigo he's a very good character. Even I'm not going to use a power move source on him because I just don't think it's worth it. Rukia like okay also take note I'm not counting if it's your favorite character. If it's your favorite character go for it obviously it's your favorite character it's a collection game. If you're going for the best characters, though, I would recommend saving. In my eyes, or what I would do if I was Caleb, is I would drop a move source. We just had Mugetsu, so a lot of people are probably going to drop it on Mugetsu. And I think we're getting a power character for part two. Hopefully, it's a power farmer. I would absolutely love a power farmer that's just a version of Lily Bar, but more damage and gives potions and droplets. That's essentially what I want. Um, also, I need to get this music off my screen it's it, it's way too annoying but yeah outside of Mugetsu and Ulk and I guess maybe Masaki because she has a very limited guild quest but even then I wouldn't even recommend it then I think it's only Mugetsu or Okiara those are easily the top two characters for power Ichigo is fine Ruki is fine but she doesn't need dupe she's a IT character in my eyes mainly Yamamoto isn't terrible uh he's a melee exterminator killer though so I mean if you if you have true Shika Ichigo, there's no use in him. Melee Hollow, I think Mugetsu's a better character than that. And, you know, it's whatever. Uh, and then there's, like, no other character outside of, like, a fan favorite character. Now, when should you use a move source? Uh, let's say you get the new power character, uh, 1 out of 5. Feeding it in as a dupe, which I can actually show you how you do it. Uh, if I go to... I guess I have rainbows, so it's fine. Um, you go to augment, and let's say if you have a character two out of five or one out of five, and you want to get him to two out of five, I think that's worth it. Should you go for three out of five? I don't think so. The attack bonus on a SP character is so minimal, I don't think it's worth it. If he's four out of five, and you want to push him to five out of five, I think that is worth it. But you just go to augment, you click here, and then you would just add in one of your dupe sources, and then that is how you would uh, feed in a dupe. I'm not gonna do it. I don't want to. I don't have a character right now that I really want to. 
Kenny's close. I'm really thinking I might do one rainbow on him just to get him 2-5 and make him even better. But I'm going to see how he does in Melee Espada when it does come around. And I'll just save them till then. Um, Grammy's also absolutely insane. The showcase should be coming out soon. Um, but yeah, like... Unless a character is 2 out of 5, or is 1 out of 5 and you're trying to get them to 2 out of 5, or if a character is 4 out of 5 and you're trying to get them to 5 out of 5, that's the only time you should ever use a move source on a character. Unless you're using, like, 3. Like, if I use all 4 on Kenny to 5-5, five, five, then, then sure. But, you know, you shouldn't use 1 to get him to, like, 4 out of 5. That 4 out of 5 dupe is the most useless dupe in the entire game because you're giving them either defense or stamina. No SP character or attack character realistically needs defense or stamina. It's just not necessary. Um, now, like, is there a PvP character I would recommend? Not really. Chad is fine being low dupes. Like, him at 1 or 2 out of 5 is okay. Ishin, obviously, is a premium character you don't need to. Uh, there's just no good power character right now that I really recommend. Like, none of them are on the level of Yuha besides Mugetsu. Uh, and he's premium, so it's, like, not as needed, but... If you do it on Mugetsu, I think that's literally the only reasonable choice. Like, Okiora, sure, I guess, because of the range Quincy is kind of annoying, but you don't need to. Rukia, yet again, just whatever. So, Th that's just my whole take on it. Let me know down below if you guys are going to use it or if you've already used it. I'm pretty sure I've seen, already seen quite a few people already use it. Uh, but, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down, know down below who you ended up using it on. Take care, and hope you guys have an absolutely amazing day. Bye-bye.